walking through the no pucka bushes. Akahele no kamea vela ikala keone oh ali bella loa king it's not that hot but normally vela ikala it is hot from the sun okay aya kako Maka ai kai, ai ia no kaha papaloa o hoi pū a mau aku o ia hoi shipwrecks o ia kai noa haole e ano na e mau aku o kela pali o ia hoi mahaule pū mahau a heana heana kapu i laila. Me ke kahi mau iwi paha a pela aku mai ka wakahiko Ano Laila He aha hui i kapa i ai o malama maha uleku Ano Laila Nui Nui kapu e, e malama na ke ia mauahi kapu. A o ka umana o, o kaino o ke la wahi o ke ana o ia hoi ka wahi makau, ai ole makau wahi. O ia kaino o ke ana i laila, o ka umana o O makau aole. Never mind. Well, I'm gonna have to edit that volume out. Cause actually, what I was trying to say is the name of the cave over there is spelled in a manner in which it could mean place of fish hooks, and this is a fishing place. Uh, so ikau manao in my thinking as opposed to its other meaning which would be spelled a little differently and it's difficult to tell only when it's a place name and well in some cases it's difficult to tell if the spelling isn't correct but as a hawaiian language speaker you would know some possibilities and if it's at the ocean and it's spelled like a fish hook word the word for fish hook is in hawaiian it might be a cave where people you know put the fish hooks on their lines or it has something to do with it so well i know i have not looked that up in place names books by albert and mokini and tutupukui eya no nae just a thought that occurs because Hawaiian language is like a poetic language in its own right. And there are double meanings for a lot of different words, depending on how they're pronounced, Pretending, uh, uh, depending on how they are spelled. But of course, it was not a written language. So really, there could be a great deal of difference between what the speaker is meaning and what you're interpreting. And on a literal, or a figurative level sometimes, which, you know, is an interesting and wonderful thing about Hawaii. Pehea ka ikena, pehea ka ikena. No nui ka makani, no laila. Lohe ia na mele vale no mamuo kani ame ko uleo aka hime ole hime o maono kanani maono o ke kaha kai ka ai no kaku ma ka ai kai 
uh, Eya no Kaha Papa. So we are at the water's edge, known as the island. And it must be low tide because the Ha Papa Nui, Loa, the reef is exposed. And yonder in the distance, and Ma'oapu, we have shipwrecks, which is where on the other side Mahaulepu is located. And it looks like there's people up there. Are they gonna jump? Are we gonna get some live action footage here for you guys? I think they're getting ready to jump. Oh, it's a glorious day. Let's hope that they're safe. That's all. It could be good footage, but it is not a safe thing to do, and I do not recommend it. Yeah. They sh they're probably, but you can see things from up there. You don't need to jump off of there necessarily. So could just be, you know, sightseers. I've seen some pretty big fish from up there. As you climb along the side of that cliff, it's sandstone and it's got some awesome spindles that have been weathered and eroded to make beautiful sandstone art. So, La nani loa no ho ike ia la mahalo nui loa ya oko paka hia pao no ka nana ana mai ina vikio no ka mea o vau vale no ka mea e ho a i ka pahu ki i oni oni Ea no nae o Hawaii ke ia, o Hawaii kaupi maole no. Now, maka'u is the word for I'm a little afraid, which is similar to the name of the cave on the other side. It's just a matter of different spelling and different pronunciation. This M A K A glottal stop U spelling means to be afraid, and there could be a kako, a uh, macron above the A. Uh, I forget, but I don't think there is one. But the name of the cave over there is spelled M A K A U without any diacritical mark. And that word means fish hook. Wahi means place. Ve'ahe'i. There's only 13 letters, five consonants, and the rest are vowels. Makapi apa Hawaii oyehoi. A e i o u he ke la munu pi ve okina. And the okina is a glottal stop and considered a consonant. There are no consonants 
Ikaulalo Hawaii. So that's why it seems to look like there's a lot of vowels together, which there are, and they are sometimes separated by a glottal stop. And sometimes they are used a diphthong. They must be glided together. I hope you're enjoying the footage from the south side of Hawaii at this most sacred area. Aren't they all sacred? It's wilderness at its best. And the world is responsible. Na koka koa paoloa ke kuliana kamala maana. O ke yahonua. O yaho i o moana nuya kea. Apa hanao moku nuya kea. Me wa kea. Na ka ko vale no. Na kono ki. Aina, my poina, my poina. Hello, my old call me out. Lila. Okay, you Maui a Mao Aku. Well, there's a big one there, isn't he? Isn't he a big guy? A Kainoawa EK. You see him? He looks like a saltwater fish, but. Manini, Manini, Manini are the convict fish. Oh, okay, Kalimu Pepeo. That's called Limu, Ear Limu, Ear Seaweed. No, come here. It looks similar to an ear. And then we have the moss that grows that way in the forest called Limu. Pepeao as well. Sorry, I'm stunned by the Holoi'a, the school of fish. Pehea keia e kapoe. Mai oa o keia honua nani loa. E nana mai kako.
see. As long as you're safe, that's all that really matters. And to keep everything around you safe. Oh, we got a school of fish over there. Where is the loli? The sea cucumber out here of Aleana, Hawaii. Hey, I hope I'm not biggie on you. Now see by the direction that the wind is blowing. It reflects. But if you're a sailor, you know that. Wow. Nui ka ika ma'o. Nui ka holo ika ma'aneki. Wow. Am I missing the lolly? And I'm oh there he is. Yeah, there he is. I am no way I'm not walking. Kikone yao ma'aneki. Come in, kikia moe no. others will come down and enjoy and she can share the lobby with. So let's go. Nana Mai Kikahiwahi Heahe.